Hello, and welcome back to Path of Titans, where we're going to explore Gondwa from the air. We're gonna make a female this time. We're just gonna do balanced, because I like balanced the best. I'm just curious what the female skins look like, so let's see if we can't find a nice name. Probably not, but we can try for a moment or two. Cruel Beak! Cruel Beak. Alright, let's, let's see. Oh, that skin is still really colorful, even on a female. The default skin is really nice. Actually, female background doesn't look terrible. I was hoping for some different color options on some of these skins. This one doesn't. Hmm. I still really like this one. Maybe if we tone the colors down just a bit more. Oh, it has a blue beak. Oh, that's interesting. Hush. We're busy. I'd, a little bit of yellow is fine. Oh gosh, there's a lot of colors here. Alright, well. Huh. That was a lot more colorful than I thought it would be. I just, I don't like how bright... I don't like how bright under the wings are. Maybe we'll try this one? Okay, I went with female, and we're going with this skin, just to give it a go. So I also learned- oop. So, when you're on the ground, I learned this. You double tap space to fly. Also, this lighting is beautiful. Let's try and get a screenshot of her up here. Because this is actually very pretty lighting. You know me, I love my screenshots. You know, I think I could live with this. I would prefer if the body was a little more white colored, but this isn't terrible. So we're gonna explore Gondwa. Hmm, I don't know about the downward flap picture. I love the broadcast call though, that's great. <laughs> Why is it so hard to get screenshots with her? Like, I don't know. This seems really difficult to get screenshots. Why is it so dark? It looks so bright in game. Oh, but it's so pretty with that lighting, that sunset. We're gonna have to probably restart so it's actually daylight so we can see what we're doing while we explore. But we're gonna enjoy the beautiful Gondwa sunset while we can. It took me that long to make a skin. It's cause I'm pr this is Cruel Beak still. Still using Cruel Beak. It's a pretty cool name, don't you think? I like the model. I like the model. I like the animations. I think it looks nice. I think it looks good. You know me, I love my screenshots. And hey, we're supposed to be admiring how beautiful Gondwa is. How best to do that than to take screenshots, right? I know you guys are like, oh my god, Jin, stop. Just just stop. Go play the game, Jin. Stop it. Oh my god. Fine, I'll go play the game. After one more screenshot. No, I love Thalasso. Like, I might have my problems with Kai whatever, but Thalasso looks and moves great. And also, this is just my opinion, of course, but I think the flying in the game is better than Beasts of Bermuda's. I like it quite a bit more. I'm trying to get a... Seems like it'd be... Yeah, let's do a nice close-up zoom. Yeah. 
No, no brightness contrast. Let's try details. Just to bring it out a little. Tone down the HDR toning. Tone down the clarity just a little bit. Just to bring out the details a, swell, a smidge, smidge. I can't talk today, by the way. Uh, our depth of field is too strong. This is beautiful lighting, okay? I know I'm wasting time, but hey, just skip ahead, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, this is a pretty angle, too. If we raise, if we go bump it up slightly. Hmm. Thumbnail material if we uh, shift it just a little bit left or right. No, you know what? Honestly, I can say you could probably expect me to play a lot of Thalasso. Or a lot of this fellow, this lady here. Because I really like it. Alright, we're gonna god mode so we don't have to worry about food or stamina or any of that while I'm exploring. And we're gonna go explore. So I do like that woo, I do like that diving builds stamina. I mean not stamina, sorry, speed. Diving actually does build speed. Whee. And then of course you space to ascend. Control descends. You know, usual controls. Alright, I'm not sure how to find fish. I was told to look for kelp or logs in the water. So, we're gonna flippity flappity our way up and see if we can- You know what? Yeah, I actually think I do like this skin. I guess I'll be playing a female. Even though she doesn't look female, I guess I'll be playing a female. Alright, so we're looking for kelp or logs in the water. So, let's go find some. So, so, I- Restart the server, and I see these weird leaves flying up in the air. You see? There's like weird leaves flying up in the air from right here. What's down here? I don't see any- Oh! Nope, those are not real fish. Those are fake fish. Got me all excited for a moment. It's just weird. What are, the, what are all those leaves flying up in the air for? Look at all the fishies! I really like this skin, I decided. This is definitely what I'm gonna go with. And Cruel Beak, great name. So, if I get back onto Walking with Dinosaurs, I will make Cruel Beak the female Thalesso. Even if she doesn't look female, she is female, because the game said so. Oh wait, that's right, we need God Mode on, because we're drowning. Haha. <laughs> Oops. I can't dive this deep normally. Alright, so uh, there's nothing here. We're gonna go back to the skies. Yeah, I thought those leaves might have been something, but I don't see anything. Like, what is what are all these leaves for? Is that a cave? Oh, it's like a little it's a little like a little house. We have a little house. There's rocks here. Okay. Anyways, we're resuming the search. And we're also just kind of exploring Gondor. Like, all this kelp on the shoreline is really cool. I look forward to starting a Thalesso and trying to grow one. I'm just, I'm really waiting to see if Walking with Dinosaurs will have me back before I try a different server. Or, God forbid, officials. Alright, so we're looking for kelp or piles of logs floating on the surface. That's what I was told to look for. So, uh, I love flying in games, all right? In Beasts of Bermuda, I liked playing the flyers. You can bet I'm gonna play a lot of this this lovely little lady here. All right, I'm not seeing any logs. Lots of uh, lots of places for birdies to perch, though. So that's nice. It's all yellow down here. Oh, that's, that's cool. Look at all the yellow. How fun. 
I'll have to bring a Kai here and explore a little bit, but look at all the yellow! I guess this is turning into ocean and aerial exploration. But look, it's all pretty. I like the yellow tint of the water too. It just no fish though. Where's all the fishy fish? I mean that's cool and all, but where's the fish? You've heard of where's the beef from Harvey? Well, where's the fish? Or was it where, where's the meat? I don't know. Whatever. We're looking for fish though. Oh, I love these little. Hello. Oh, I love this area. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty here. Well, they definitely improved underwater, because this looks great. Yeah, I guess this is just going to turn into water and aerial exploration. But this looks fun, doesn't it? I like this area. Kaka, kaka. Now, if only we could. F oh, there's so much of it. Now, if only we could find some uh, uh, fishy fish. Oh look, I got I managed to get some little fake fish in here with me. Gotta get some of those little fish in the in the frame. Oh, it looks so pretty in this area of the water. It really does. I like it. Oh, we got a lot more fish. This area looks so nice. I quite like it. I'm just going to snap a picture because why not? I like pictures. But, again, still no fish. No food. No food here. Is this the kelp I'm looking for, or is this just seagrass above the water? No, this is just seagrass above the water. Where are we on the map? Because this is a cool area. Oh, we're way down here. Okay. It's pretty nifty, though. It's pretty cool. Alright, resuming my search for what I was told to look for to find fish. So it's not fish, but look at this archway here. Look at these look at these little windows we can sit in. How fun is that? Nice little nice little window right here, huh? Such a such a great noise. These funny shaped rocks and islands out here. I still haven't found any food though. Maybe I was given the wrong information, or maybe it's not spawning in single player. I don't know. It's under the water here. Oh, we're still in the yellow area. Wow, this area stretches for quite a ways. You would think there would be more aquatic food, so I'm wondering if maybe single player, maybe it's not spawning in single player, or maybe there's just not a lot of aquatic food. Or, I'm just in the completely wrong area for it. I mean, all of this is possible. This is fun, though. I actually really enjoy just flapping around. Alright, I'm determined to find food, but like I said, it might be that single player is bugged. That does happen sometimes where things don't spawn correctly in single player. So let's go see if we can't move to a different area on the map and try again. Still no fish, but we have found a new area of the ocean. Look at it. It's got red kelp and red algae on the rocks. This place looks fun too, doesn't it? Like, I'm really glad the aquatic area is different and not just the same thing over and over plant-wise. Like, there's visual differences here, which is really nice. But fish have been scarce. I have not found much in the way of fish. Just taking pictures to catalog Cruel Beak's journey through the world. But yeah, no fish yet. Still looking. Still looking for fish. 
but this is definitely a new area, so that's exciting. There's some sandbars out here. Oh, I kind of feel like I might make my my Thalesso, once I grow one, I might make it a vulture and just look for carcasses or, you know, baby dinos that might not be too close to home. I don't know. But if fish are scarce, then there's not really much point fishing. gotten very far. Not super fast. Oh, this looks interesting. Let's see what's in sweet grass and shallows. Ooh, this looks nice. Still no fish, though. I'm really wondering if single player is bugged fish-wise, but at least we're exploring the different ocean biomes. Sweet grass and shallows. Very nice. Oh, look. There's starfish. Oh, I could pick one up. We have starfish friend. We have starfish starfish friend, guys. What's this? It's like a little rainbow on the ground. Oh, it's a cute picture. We're gonna take this picture real quick. Because I can. Those starfish are adorable, by the way. I like starfish. I wish I was- I wish my Thalassa was a little closer to the starfish, though. I wonder if I can get a little closer. This might work. Other than the fact that our wingtip is in the ground. It's okay, we'll use the starfish to hide the wingtip in the ground. Yes, yes. Beautiful. This might make a nice thumbnail. I like it. Super cute. Alright, enough playing around. But we're taking our starfish with us, man. Oh. What is this? Do I need to deliver the starfish somewhere? Starfish friend, I don't want to lose you. What is this? What is going on here? What is... I don't understand what this is about. It's like it wants me to put it here, but... Oh wait, precise movement. I do have precise movement. Do you want this, Mr. Clam? Is this for you, Mr. Clam? There you go, Clam. Apparently the Clam wants the starfish. So, we're gonna just let the Clam have it, because apparently he wants it. And we're gonna resume our eternal search to figure out where the fish spawn. And to find new ocean biomes, too. Whee! Sploosh! So this is still all the same stuff down here. We're gonna move up further along the shoreline. Where are we at now? Okay, we're over here now. So I say we just keep traveling up the coast and maybe we'll find food. And if not, at least we'll find new, hopefully new aquatic biomes. Oh, we definitely need to explore the Hoodoo Hills over there. This might be a bit of a longer video, but lots of exploration to do. And I'm sure you guys aren't complaining about me playing Path of Titans again. You just know this area is going to be full of Thalassodromius, pterosaurs. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like paradise for them. Probably gotta be careful of raptors, though. But still, yeah. Whee! It's so much fun! Whee! The water looks different here. Oh, it's deep! And there's hoodoos in the water, too. Huh, how about that? Sunken hoodoos. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this looks like a fun place to be as an aquatic. It's kind of deep for my pterosaur, though. Especially since I don't have the swimming upgrade. I probably should get the swimming upgrade. Okay. 
Flying is fun. Let me say that. They did a good job on the flying mechanics. It's fun. You get precise movement in the air, too. See? It's very cool. It's quite a lot of noise. Dang. Why is the water so noisy? Oh, well. Um, I'm not sure where we're going. We're just kind of patrolling up the shoreline looking for food. Haven't found any yet. Maybe there is no fish in the ocean. Maybe they're all out at s in the lakes. But you would imagine there'd be fish in the ocean, right? Somewhere? Alright, well the manta ray spot still has manta rays. They're not exactly the fish I was looking for, but they forgot manta rays. Ugh, come here. Ugh, come here. Gotcha. Haha, <laughs> it's so big. Stop moving, camera. I want a picture of me and my ridiculous stingray. Dang it. Oh my god, it's flipping out! You know what? Why is my Ansel moving without my permission? Like, it's moving without me telling it to. That's so uncool. I don't want it to move. Ansel really messes with the uh, manta ray, though, doesn't it? Maybe if we land and take a picture. Apparently it doesn't want me to fly with this. My Ansel's bugging out on me. Okay, we're gonna just... You know what? Actually, I like that rock over there. That rock over here is really nice. We're gonna land on this rock. Land right here. I said land. Probeak. Listen to me. Precision land. Okay. See, and my Ansel's still moving without my permission. Stop it, Ansel. Stop it. If I hold my finger on the key, it will stop. But if I let go, it moves. Why is it doing that? Stupid. Maybe I need to restart the server. Stop messing with me, Ansel. It's not a perfect hold in the beak, but it's interesting. Oh well, we're gonna put it down. More of these random leaves flying in the air. Well, I mean, at least we know stuff is spawning because the manta rays are there. Ooh, that's deep. I don't want to go down there. But yeah, at least we know stuff is spawning because the manta rays are there. So... Is that a shark? Ooh, scavenger lifestyle for me. Hello. It's food. <laughs> Stupid Ansel moving without my permission. You're ruining my screenshots. highlight as well. That looks a little better. We're gonna take a screenshot anyways, even if it's not perfect. Hey, my Ansel's not moving anymore. What is this? Of course, now my Ansel works. I think that might be better. A little bit better. Not much, but a little bit. Oops, I didn't mean to take a picture. I meant to zoom in. Oh well. Onwards! I am going to find real fish, I swear it. I will. I'm going to do it. Okay, so since I traveled the entire le right side, so... Hold on. Um, so we started down here. 
and we flew all the way around the coast all the way and now we're up here this entire right side of the island without finding any actual fish just the uh the manta rays we're gonna go check the inland lakes maybe lakes have food which will suck for a kai if there's no food in the ocean but also i need to put god mode back on so i can fly eternally um i res reset the server again for my time of day is there any food here? I mean, I imagine lakes have fish at least. It's kind of, yeah, lakes have fish. It's kind of weird that the ocean doesn't have fish. Get over here. Yeah, okay. Lakes have fish, oceans don't. I don't know what Kai is gonna eat. But we have a fishy fish. We got a fish, fish, fish. Fishy, fishy fish. So, alright. Lakes have fish. Oceans do not seem to have fish. Now, I'm still going to explore along the coast to see the different ocean biomes, but... I don't know. Goodbye, fish. Be free! Oh, he just kind of splats on the surface there. That's so sad. It's okay, he's just sleepy. That's all, he's just sleepy. But, I mean, we might as well check... We, I mean, we checked all the right side coastline. I might as well check the other side and see if there's any interesting new biomes we haven't seen before. There's the Rainbow Hills behind me. So yeah, I mean, I might as well finish off our ocean exploration. And who knows, maybe we'll find a fish. Maybe not, who knows. So this ocean area is called the Golden Kelp, but it's really deep and I can't really see much of it. But it's even got a- it's got a yellow tint to the water and I do see Golden Kelp down there. Fascinating. Still absolutely no ocean fish- oh wait! Is this the floating kelp I was supposed to look for to find food? Yeah! Kelp and log. Okay. Oh, fish! I found spawn fish spawns, finally. Nice, okay. I did f okay, so it's just very hard to find. That's a terrible. I did find fish at last. Okay, so now I know what to look for, and now you guys know what to look for. We're looking for a floating kelp like that, and it's very hard to find, apparently. And we caught a fish. Hooray for us. We finally caught a fish. At last. Hooray! Cool. Then I guess I, 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 I guess I could continue looking at ocean biomes. I know this video is getting a bit long, but I can't move. Why am I stuck? Yeah, I finally did it. We finally got our fish. All right. So golden kelp. Um, where is this located? Way up here has some food, so that's good to know. Is that food marker right there? Am I supposed to be looking for that kind of thing on the map? I don't know, but we finally found it. It, yay! And I dropped my fish, but that's okay. You know what? We've done about half the island looking at ocean biomes. We'll end it here, and we'll look at the other half with an aquatic. Maybe there's supposedly a new aquatic and flyer coming out as well. Maybe I'll wait until that aquatic comes out, and we'll look at that one. But, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was kind of random and not very well organized. I just kind of flew around talking, but, you know, whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I do plan to start playing again. I'm not going to play as much as I used to, hours and hours each day every week, but I am going to start playing again. This is probably going to be my main playable because I like it. Oh, look at her cute little face. So yeah, I like how it plays. It's probably going to be one of my 
main playables. So, you know, lots of you can look forward to that. I do not know if I'm going to play a lot of the Kai Wekia thing. But we'll see. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next one.